Hi guys, and welcome to a lesson with uh, Excel 2016. And in this lesson, uh, we're going to be calculating um, formulas across multiple worksheets, uh, which is kind of challenging. Um, we're going to be looking at a couple different functions. We're going to look at your the rest of your basic functions, like minimum, maximum, and average. We've already looked at the sum function quite a bit. And um, in the long run, we're going to look at the calories that exist in fast food restaurants. And I have a total of three fast food restaurants that we can look at. And we're going to look at the calorie content. And you can kind of see when you guys um, actually open up your document today. Let me go ahead and minimize the directions. Uh, right here, you're going to see that you have two attachments. You have your directions and you have top three fast food. And in the top three fast food, if you really look at that attachment, um, what I did was I broke it apart. Um, the whole workbook is called Top 3 Fast Food. And down here, I've got three different worksheets for us to choose from. We have McDonald's, and I have the calorie count, the total fat, and the carbs of some of McDonald's most popular menu items. Um, over here, I have Burger King on this worksheet. And again, I have uh, some of the most popular items from Burger King. Now, this is, I'm going to say, probably about two years old, this menu is. And I know they've come out with some sandwiches that have definitely um, topped some of their maximum calorie counts as far as, you know, uh, hardcore. Like this Texas Double Whopper, I don't think is their, uh, or the Triple Whopper is not their biggest sandwich anymore. I forget what it is. Anyway, um, and then at the bottom I have Wendy's and some of their most popular menu items. And then the um, calories, total fat, and carbs from uh, Wendy's as well. Um, and what we're going to do basically is kind of look at, you know, where you are as far as how many calories you should intake in a day. Um, I'm right over here. Oh, wait, that's women. Um, here, here. Um, this is me right here. I should be taking in about 1,600 calories a day, uh, 1,610 calories in a day. Um, average wise, you can see here. Uh, excuse me, I have allergies. <clears throat> what I should be taking in today. Um, and that's in a given day. All right. So, um, and you can kind of see here that if you were to eat nothing but uh, McDonald's, that would add up pretty quickly. And down here, you'll notice that I put like uh, French fries and stuff like that that we usually get as side items. Okay. okay. Um, so what we're going to do here, guys, let's go ahead and look at our directions. If you haven't downloaded those, go ahead and do this. As you guys uh, will be able to use multiple worksheets and named ranges to calculate data in Excel 2013. Um, objective, students will study and analyze nutritional information about fast food, how healthy are fries, cheeseburgers, tacos. Uh, using Excel, students will compare nutritional facts such as calories, sodium, and their cholesterol. And I changed that actually to um, vocabulary, worksheet, workbook, to named range, format, merge. And if you look here with our direction that says download the workbook called Top 3 Fast Food which is this workbook right here. And make sure you're on the McDonald's worksheet to start this thing off. Um, it says click on the McDonald's worksheet. It says select cell A37 and enter minimum, uh, A38 maximum, A39 average. All right, so down here, 37, 38, 39. Uh, minimum, Whoops. press enter to go to the cell below, maximum, an average. So what we're going to do here is we're going to click in cell C37 and we're going to go to the formulas tab. All right. And right here is kind of what I'm working through. I'm working through this little section of your directions. All right. And I'm going to show you how to do this very quickly. What we're going to do is we're going to look at which menu item for McDonald's here has the least amount of calories the least amount of fat and the least amount of carb. What's, in other words, what's the healthiest menu item? Um, and then here, we're gonna see what the maximum uh, calories, what the maximum fat and what the maximum carbs are for the McDonald's menu items. And here, we're gonna look at the average, if I can spell average there, boom. Um, and see like, you know, what's their average meal, you know, gonna run. What's there? And you know what? For the average meal, I'm going to say we should probably not include French fries, but we'll get to that in just a second. So click on cell C37. Click on the formulas tab, please. And under the auto sum tab, you guys will notice, um, you know, here's the rest of these functions that we never really looked at before. So we've got this one under our belt, the sum formula. What we're going to do is we're going to start off with the minimum formula. 
When I say minimum, it's going to put a bounding box around like everything up above it, you know, that uh, is included in the menu. And I don't want everything. So I'm going to say boom and click and drag down with my white selection cursor. Notice um, if I go down all the way here, you can kind of see my formula equals minimum C2 through C, and it's kind of moder uh, uh, modifying it as I drag. So I'm going to say I want to probably stop at the mix snack wrap, all right, right here. And I'm going to drop it. That way I'm not including french fries in my formula. And I'm going to go ahead and press enter. So the minimum value is 250 calories. And if you look through um, right here, a hamburger is the healthiest thing that you can get, including just a snack wrap. And that's like with grilled chicken and stuff like that. All right, so let's look at um, what I want to do is just kind of use the fill handle here and drag it across to figure the total fat and the carbs. So the minimum total fat is nine grams. Is that also the hamburger? It is. So the hamburger is the healthiest thing that you can get on a McDonald's menu, period, according to the calorie count on here. And then as far as carbs, 26 is the lowest, but that's not the hamburger. So which one has the lowest carbs? right here. The mixed snack wrap has the, actually the lowest carbs, probably because it doesn't have a bun. All right, now let's do the same thing. Isn't that interesting? See, Excel can do interesting things for you. It can do like real world and interesting things. All right, so let's do the maximum. This is going to be scary. Go to the formulas tab, auto sum. You're going to say maximum. All right, it's going to put a bounding box around everything. Oh, it didn't. Oh, oh, well, it doesn't matter. I'm going to scroll up here and click from cell C2 and just kind of drag it down. And I'm not going to include the French fries. So I'm going to drop it where it says um, Mac Snack Wrap. Boom. Drop it. What's the maximum? 790. So what's the worst thing on the menu for you? This thing. Angus bacon and cheese. Awesome. I don't think they carry that anymore. Um, but I remember it. It was great. I loved it. Um, drag this over so that we can figure the maximum uh, total fat. And the maximum carbs, maximum total fat is 42 grams. Is that also the Angus thing? 42, 42, where are you? I'm looking. That's 39. There's 40 Angus mushroom and Swiss. Oh, there it is. Double quarter pounder and cheese. Oh, really? Hmm. That's odd. All right. So there's more calories in the other sandwich, but there's more fat in this sandwich. Probably, you know, neither one of them are anything to write home about as far as health goes. And then 63 is the maximum amount of carbs. So which item uh, menu menu item is that right here? A lot. Oh my God, really? A large French fries? Surprise, surprise, surprise. The French fry is the worst thing on the menu for you to E31. Actually, no, it can't be because I didn't include French fries. See, but look how bad the French fries are for you. <laughs> that's bad. Here, Angus bacon and cheese. Um, so, yeah, McDonald's is nothing to write home about. Now let's do an average function Function here. Auto sum, average. And again, I'm going to click and drag all the way down, not including my fries. And I'm going to say drop it and press enter on my keyboard. So my average um, calorie for the entire menu, not including fries, is 459 calories, all right? I can format this thing if I want to knock out some of the decimal numbers. Uh, decimal places, just go to number and say boom, boom, and it'll round for you, so 459. Um, over here, uh, let's go ahead and click and drag. So we get total fat, and the average total fat is 21 uh, grams. And the average carbs is 42 grams. All right. So um, there's a little bit of McDonald's trivia for you. And like I said, uh, what we're going to do here in just a second in part two of this video, because this is about long right here, is we're going to kind of see if we can put together a meal that keeps us under our daily um, calorie content. Um, and this should be kind of interesting. Um, all right. So I'm going to pause this right here. And look out for part two of this video where we are going to uh, go ahead and look at Burger King, Wendy's, and we're going to start our own little calorie counter worksheet here. And we're going to calculate formulas across multiple worksheets. I know you can't.